July reading go as expected? Because mine didn't. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Um, I am further behind in my Goodreads reading challenge, but I mean, it's just the Goodreads reading challenge. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not that far behind. It's really easy to get caught up on a challenge like this. If you are an avid reader like I am, it's just a matter of me sitting down and reading some books, you know? <laughs> so I'm not like stressing it or anything. Um, yeah, you know, life happens. So let's just figure out where I am with my challenge and what I, you know, was able to do in July. So I have read 33 out of 60 books. That's 55% of my total challenge. I'm currently three books behind. So I guess I should be further along than I am mid-year. That makes sense. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, I just got to, you know, crack down. Honestly, I've been working a lot and I think I've just been kind of um, vegging out a little bit on TV. I don't do that a whole lot. Like I couldn't even tell you what I've been watching. I've literally just been like coming home from work exhausted, zombieing out. And then that's been kind of it, but, um, I'll get back in the swing of things. So let's see what I did actually, you know, accomplish in the month of July. So I acquired at this anthology, Mysteries, Midsummer, Sun, and Murders. And this anthology, I, I thought they were short stories, but they're actual whole books. <laughs> so there's a lot of books in this collection. And I've decided that I'm going to probably read a, a couple of books from this just because A Nice Little Cozy Mystery is, is an easy read that you can breeze through fairly quickly. Um, if you've got a lot going on and you don't want to overthink something, you just want something, you know, simple to read, this would be great. However, I specifically read a story from one of my favorite authors, Ellen Jacobson. And so I left my review for this based on that book. But as you know, I read more books in the series, I'll be sure to come back and, you know, update this review as that happens. So I left my review for Planning for Murder. So on Goodreads, I gave it an overall star rating of five because I thought it was great. And so, like I said, as I read more books in this collection, I'll be updating it and we'll see um, how that goes down the road. Uh, let's see. I read Reaching for Normal. This is Blue Moose number one. This was my IWSG book club read, one of them for the month of July. And I gave it an overall star rating of five. Um, this is a romantic suspense and I'll get into details in my um book review that's going to come after this video. All right, uh, the next thing I read was also an IWSG book club read for the month of July, and I gave it an overall star rating of four. This is Magic at Midnight. Um, honestly thought um, this is, I guess, a novella. Again, I thought it was a novel. I thought it was going to be longer, so um, I try not to like, I can't be mad at a book for being something that it is, which is going to come up in the next thing, but I really wanted more from this. So anyway, overall star rating of four. Of course, I'll get into more depth when I do the review video. And the last thing that I attempted to read was a book called Redemption. I have no idea how I came across this book. I'm on a couple of newsletters for like new releases and discounts and things like that. So I think that's how I discovered it. It was probably on sale. I downloaded it. I wanted to try something different. I do that from time to time, challenging myself. I don't have anything to prove to anyone other than myself, <laughs> but I do sometimes want to try something different just to see, am I being closed minded? You know, and so anyway, I tried this book and I gave it an overall star rating of two, but the review will explain why. I kind of have this policy that if I don't finish a book, it automatically gets a two star rating. That doesn't necessarily mean the book is bad. It just means that I'm not going to finish it. So if you want to know more about that, make sure you watch my review video. So that is what I actually read in the month of July. I started a book for my Read with Faye challenge <clears throat> and I didn't finish it. Not for any particular reason. I literally forgot that I started reading it. <laughs> and so I actually have to go back probably and start from the beginning because I, I forgot I was reading the book. So I have my read with faith challenge book lined up for the month of August because it's the same book that I started and forgot I was reading. 
for that. So sorry for the ramble, but this has been my Goodreads challenge update. My book review video will be following shortly. And um, hopefully I'll catch up on my challenge before, you know, December. <laughs> so guys, stay safe, be blessed, have fun reading. <laughs>